favor uh, please subscribe to this channel also leave a, a comment down below let me know if you guys are currently working on food plots and let me know down below what your pH currently is on your food plot or if you get it or if you don't get it tested let me know as well what's up guys welcome back to the channel we're out here in Pennsylvania and we actually have Chris with us here and uh, he actually came out by the uh, Harrisburg show to the Antler Grove booth introduce himself and we've uh, talked a little bit on Facebook and everything and he actually was able to find this company here to provide lime for the uh, three acre food plot that we're doing so we're out here now we just got it uh, back in here with the truck uh, that was a little sketchy getting it back in here with the mud and and all that stuff but we got 3,000 pounds uh, in bagged pelletized lime we have a hundred pound spreader on the four-wheeler so it's kind of taking a little bit of time but it's the weather's you know holds up we should be good um, but if you look back in here this is all the the uh, food plot that I took you guys through last time where we took the uh, sample the pH sample which it came back at a five so we're just spreading this lime trying to raise that pH up a little bit and then next weekend we'll come back through again I'm gonna spread another pallet full so uh, that way we should be close to a six maybe up to about a 6.2 or so and then maybe in the summer or next spring we'll come back through and, and spread you know another two three thousand pounds to get it close as possible to a six and a half so this is what we're doing so if you guys want good food plots you make sure that you do check your ph and you do get lime if possible you can get a lime truck but back in here it was just physically impossible to get a truck back in here so we have to do it behind by hand so thank you guys uh stay tuned i'm gonna show you guys how we do it Finished spreading the line. We uh, it only took what? Two hours. Two hours. About two hours. We got 3,000 pounds spread and 100 pound spreader. So if you guys, like I said, a little bit of hard work, effort. It took two hours and you know we got 3,000 pounds of line spread. So it, it's starting to rain pretty uh, pretty good. We got everything packed up. We're heading back. Lens is a little foggy, so we just uh, Chris just left. So huge shout out to uh, Jim for helping me out because it definitely cut the amount of time in half so um it's we knew it was going to rain today but in reality it's, it's probably uh the perfect time to spread it um because that rain is going to work it into the soil a little bit so uh we got 3,000 pounds done in two hours with a 100 pound atv spreader so if you guys are looking to do something like that that would be something that you guys could use would be that 100 pound spreader i think it was like I think it was $120 on Amazon um, and uh, like I said the company uh, actually delivered the pallet it was actually a pallet and a half a lime or almost two pallets and they delivered the whole thing met me at the property they helped us unload it so uh, that was a huge help there um, we packed all the bags in the spreader itself it's a it's a mess uh, but we got it done guys so 
uh, food plot tip number one get that soil sample know what it is get lime spread it and you guys will have you'll you'll be super impressed with the results that you have because of that lime so thank you guys so much for watching uh, remember um, stay tuned uh, make sure to leave a comment on this video give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you guys next time